queen a bit slowly into her stride. The others will break together. Heading on towards the first of what is again going to be 11 fences here. Morris, the athlete, made a mistake at first. Where is it? Queen's already totally tailed off. It's Royal Blue, Blue Air who leads over the next to going out. Helter Skelter Gallop. Uh, Slight heads in second place. And then also uh, we've got Leader Blue and Marketing Champion with Gibraltar Star. Forty Bay is quite close up. They're all over the first three. Making a slight right-handed turn towards the fourth. It's Royal Blue out from Slime Head. And uh, then in behind these we've got Sam and Denny. And also Leader Blue and Mr. Johnson. And then Morris the Athlete. And Pocky uh, Park is also in touch. And then uh, looking back to Aussie Bay. And uh, Royal Gesture and Supreme Henry. And our guitar to the grey is slightly detached from the leaders but nowhere near as badly detached as Glacier Queen. On to the next world Blue Air leads over it. And uh, Royal Blue Air from Monkey Tank Team, and Leader Blue and Spine Head, Cock and Park, Gibraltar Star, Sandy Denny, and uh, Royal Blue Air from Monkey Tank Team, Leader Blue and Spine Head, Royal Blue Air from Monkey Tank Team, Leader Blue Morris, we seem to have lost Morris the athlete. So, uh, Royal Brewer leads. Royal Brewer from Monkey Tank Team and Leader Blue and Gibraltar Star and Pocket Park and Slime Head. Uh, and then Sandy Danny and Mr. Johnson. And uh, behind these are Aussie Bay. They're quite a tiny group. Supreme Henry and Royal Gesture. Of Last of the main group, then it's Brett Clark and Tarto, bigger break to Glacier Queen. So they've gone over half a mile probably since they last left the ground. Certainly approaching that anyway. And turning right handed, Royal Brew Air leads from Leader Blue and then Monkey Tunkety and Pocket Park and Gibraltar Star. And then Sandy Dony and Swinehead and Aussie Bay. Behind is Mont Mr. Johnson. And uh, Supreme Henry, and then Royal Gesture, and Pocket Park, we lost in the ditch, that one's gone. Nasty fall for Tom Ellis, but he's quickly up on his feet. So, turning right-handed into the back straight, Royal Brewer's pretty much made the running throughout to this stage. Monkety Tunkety, disputing second place with Leader Blue, these are gone by little away from Sandy Denny, and then Aussie Bay and Mr. Johnson and Slime Head. The leaders are onto the couple yard fence. Royal Brewer over it in front from Leader Blue, who seems to be going quite nicely. There's a slight mistake there by Monkey Tunkety, and he's got a six length gap on Sound of Dead as they jump the next. And over that, it's still Royal Brewer. Leader Blue now coming under pressure in second place. Monty Tunkety getting back on turn for the front two. Aussie Bay's making up eye catching ground from the back. Coming to the second last. Oh, 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 this has left Leader Blue with a healthy advantage from Monty Tunkety and the staying on Aussie Bay, who's going to be delivered late by David Mansell. Running up towards the last fence and then it's very long run in. Leader Blue's been in the van throughout. Johnson away from Monty Tunkety. Bit of a mistake by Aussie Bay. Maybe his run is coming to an end. And it's Leader Blue from Monty Tunkety. There's three legs between the pair as they run around the home back. Still two furlongs to run. Miles says to the Monty Tunkety. Shows his head to Tudor on Leader Blue. It's Leader Blue in front. The worst part of Monty Tunkety trying to get that to it. There's Leader Blue from Monty Tunkety. It's going to be another thrill as they run towards the last row of the line. And Leader Blue's doing enough in front. I thought Monty Tunkety was going to get to Leader Blue. But he doesn't look like he's going to. Leader Blue's going to take it. Second in the previous race for the Ice Cream Now, compensation for Leader Blue. Monkey Chunky in third 